NBC7 San Diego News at 11. Good evening, I'm Marty Ojeda. New tonight, tensions in the Middle East are on the rise again after Israel pounded Gaza for a second straight day. Israelis traded airstrikes and rocket fire with Palestinian militants. 15 were killed as the deadliest Gaza violence in more than a year showed no signs of lessening. So imagine being caught in the middle of that deadly violence. Tonight, the mayor of an Israeli city located less than a mile from the Gaza Strip is in San Diego. He talked about the reasons behind the latest bloodshed and is not about to back down. We have a right to kill everybody that kill our people. We have a right to protect ourselves. David Buskila is the mayor of Sterot, a southern city in Israel, less than a mile from the Gaza Strip. He says his city is under siege. 120 rocket and mortar shells fired into Israel in the last 24 hours. Residents, he says, running for cover at the sound of sirens. We have 15 seconds since, since the time that we hear the siren till the time that it's explosive inside the town, and we have 15 seconds. This is the time that we have to save our life. Buskila says the latest violence started Friday after Israeli special forces assassinated a man they say was a top terrorist. For that, he makes no apologies. And it's not something that we have to be sorry about because this one uh, launched rockets, killed many Israeli people, and they have to pay for something like this. While the violence broke out in his hometown, the mayor was actually here in San Diego to thank local Christian and Jewish organizations for helping residents of Starot, aid that includes the construction of bomb shelters being used right now. We are there because this is our home. We have nowhere to go. We are not the bad guys. We have to be strong, of course, because if we will be weak, we will not have homeland. Mayor Buskila says he does not expect the violence to end anytime soon, but we also spoke with a political science professor at San Diego State who says he thinks the retaliation attacks could die down in a few weeks.